Hello guys and welcome to my review of the douchebag. I just want to say that this is not a paid review from douchebag. This is just what I think of the bag. With that said, let's start. The main reason why I bought this bag is because it's really, really, really big. I can carry all of my gear in just one bag and I love that. That keeps me from bringing multiple bags or have to have stuff in my hands or whatever. So main reason for buying this bag, the size. As you can see, it's massive. I don't even know, yeah. You can fit whatever gear you want in this one. So if you're looking for a gear bag that is really big, this is the one to go. With that said, let's move on. Let's look at the structure. I've got the gray one with the white details. And if you're new to this brand, Douchebag, the good thing about Douchebag is they're very smart. You see these small straps? These are used for hooking up bags with another bag. So with that said, you can hook this bag up with a smaller Douchebag. Just click it on these straps. Thumbs up for that. The first thing I noticed when I opened up the bag from, uh, from the store is that it's a really, really good quality bag. The material feels fantastic. Everything just feels really good. Big plus for that. I don't see this failing on me anytime soon. Let's take a look at the straps. The straps are normal. Two normal straps, uh, no straps in between or at the waist. Just two normal shoulder straps. It has a small douchebag logo on the right one which, uh, yeah, I like it, it's a good design. The piece that is against your back is really firm and really comfortable to have against your back. Left side of the bag, you have a big douchebag logo. Also, on the front side, you have a douchebag logo, which I quite like. It's a good color combination with this gray and white. And on the front, we've already seen the straps, but also you have this big handle. Take it up, you can carry it away with no problem. So yeah, let's move to the inside. This bag has two compartments, one big and one small. The big one you open from the top, so you can remove all this. And now you're gonna see how much it fits. So this is my packing of today. Here's not just one, and not just two pillows, but three sleeping pillows. Meaning, it's gigantic. You can fit whatever you like in here. Moving on to interior design, as you can see, you have the big compartment where you can fit the stuff you want. And on the side you have two small compartments where you can hide away things that you don't want to lose in your big bag. So I really like these pockets. I have them for like random things that don't usually take up that much space. And I use them for stuff that I don't want to lose. So yeah. So this is the big space. Really good quality once again. Uh, I've seen no problem whatsoever with this bag. There's only one small complaint I have about the bag. It's when it's empty. Well, it's really saggy. Like, when I'm, if I do this, and I close it all up, it doesn't really stay in the shape. It kind of falls together. And especially, like, yeah, as you can see, it doesn't really keep its shape. So yeah. That's a really small complaint. I can live with that. Moving on, we're going to the small compartment on the top. This is a compartment that you open from the top, like this, with a zipper. And the compartment is big enough to hold at least one full-size uh, towel, which is quite big for being a small compartment. I can fit my camera in here if I want to. That's no problem whatsoever. But for this compartment, I'm usually keeping my keys, my hard drive, wallet, passport. Or actually, the passport goes in this small pocket here. Also on this small pocket, if you're really careful about your keys or whatever, you can hook it up to this small little hook thingy right here. As I was saying before about the hookup system that Douchebag brings you guys, this is the clamp that you hook it up with. So you just take these, hook them onto the straps, then you're ready to go. Conclusion of this bag. One, it's really big. Two, it fits whatever you like. If you're looking for a big backpack, this is the way to go. Three, the build quality of this bag is excellent. I really, really like it. Do I recommend the bag? Yes. If you're looking for a big backpack, this is the way to go. I'm using this one for drones, camera gear, whatever. With that said, 
I hope you like this review. It's my first one and I'm sorry for my English, but uh, I'm from Sweden, so keep that in mind. I'm trying my best here. Thank you. I hope to see you again. I will be posting more reviews uh, of douchebags in the future, I hope. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.